Today, we're going to talk about rough collies. Looking to get a rough collie? Just want more information about a rough collie? Or what are the traits of a rough collie? Agree or disagree? We love to hear your comments. What is this rough collie? What is the rough before collie? There are two types of collies, rough and smooth. For most people, a rough collie is better known as a lassie dog, and you will hear this at least once a week. What is the difference between a smooth collie and a rough collie? Simply put, it is just the coat length. Nothing more than that. Both the rough and the smooth collie have what is known as a double coat. One is for protection from the weather, rain and the snow, and the other is for warmth. Rough collies were bred to watch the sheep in the field from predators. Smooth collies were bred to drive the sheep to market. You can have both rough collies and smooth collies from the same litter. The rough collie is the dominant gene. Rough collies are originally from Scotland and were originally used for herding. They are generally not used for herding today and border collies are almost exclusively used for herding. They get that long nose from being crossbred with borzoids that give them that very noble look and better vision. We are going to talk specifically about the rough collie, but the personality of a smooth collie will be similar without the long coat. Another variant you will sometimes hear reference to is a scotch collie. Scotch collies were mostly used as farming dogs. They have evolved and been bred into today's rough collies. Scotch collies still exist today, but they are in very limited quantities. When owning a rough collie, the grooming can be best described as intensive. Multiple times a week, you need to brush that wonderful coat to keep it matte free and looking its best. Collies come in four colors. Sable, basically light brown, which looks like Lassie. There's a Tri, which is black with white markings and tan shading. And then there's a Blue Merle, which is silver and blue with spots of black. And there's also a White, which is primary white with small amounts of color and other markings. Weight of a rough collie is between 60 to 75 pounds. Ours weighs 55 pounds. She is small for her breed and a rough collie was dog 10 of an 11 dog litter. In the UK, they average 50 to 65 pounds. Males stand 24 to 26 inches at the withers or shoulder blades, and females stand 22 to 24 inches tall. US collies tend to have larger eyes than UK collies. The lifespan of a rough collie is 14 to 16 years. Do they bark? Barking? Yes, barking. Lots and lots of barking. They are very good watchdogs, but not aggressive. This is in their genetic disposition, as they were bred to protect sheep and alert when something's not as it should be. They will bark at strangers, but not generally show aggression to strangers unless provoked. The bark is louder than the bite, as they say. Despite being barkers, they are super sensitive to sound. They will also tend to stalk their prey without following through on the kill. Rough collies don't handle stress well, and they need to live in a very stable household. They are very sensitive to hostile and aggressive behavior and yelling. They will be very devoted to their original family and can be considered a one-family dog. If raising from a puppy, this will be natural. If getting a rescue, they could be a bit standoffish with you. The loyalty of a rough collie is unwavering. They need to explore the world and cannot just be let out into the backyard. They can also be stubborn and want to do things their own way. Sometimes this stubbornness is more of a waiting game to see who wins. That hurting behavior, yep, it's it is intense and still persistent. They love to chase anything that moves. This includes cars, trucks, low-flying planes. They also love to herd birds and small children. As long as you understand this genetic trait, you and the dog will have a better understanding of each other and a better relationship. Friendly, gentle, and sweet. Great around kids and love being involved in family activities and being around people. Rough collies believe the world revolves around them and they should get to lay any place in the bed or the couch and always be the center of attention. They love human companionship and being included in every activity, no matter how boring. They are extremely easy to train, but can get bored with repetition or doing the same thing over and over. Being sensitive, they do not respond to a heavy hand. You need to be extremely patient when working with a rough collie. Exercise is a must. Remember, these are herding dogs and they need to be active. They need to be exercised daily. If the weather is bad and they don't get proper exercise, you will begin to notice behavior changes in as little as 24 hours. I would best describe them as sprinters and not endurance dogs. They are great at chasing the ball in the park, but a two to three mile walk is probably not their forte. They are very curious by nature, and everything must be fully investigated. They are very healthy and hardy dogs, but like most breeds, they have a few health issues. Collie eye anomaly and other eye issues and hip dysplasia are the most common. A good breeder will have tested for collie eye anomaly, which can lead to blindness. Currently, no treatment for collie eye anomaly exists and usually happens within the first two years. Hip dysplasia is in reference to the hip socket, which can cause pain. A good breeder will not breed dogs with this condition. Hip dysplasia is common in most medium and larger dog breeds. Let's talk about those cute ears that fold over at the tips. For the most part, that is not natural. You need to train the ears to have the tips fold over when they are puppies, and they may need a bit of maintenance when the females go into heat. The reason for the tipped ears is to keep them warm in the winter, but mostly, it just looks really, really cute. That beautiful coat, there is nothing like it. It's a double coat, which means one is for warmth and the other is for protection from the rain and the snow. The long coat was also used to protect the throat in skirmishes with predators when watching the sheep. The coat needs to be maintained multiple times a week to keep it looking its best. You need to stay on top of grooming or it can be a huge amount of work to get it back into a manageable
manageable condition. If the grooming of a rough collie is too much, think about a smooth collie, which has the same traits without the intensive grooming. That's a quick introduction to the rough collie. We hope this has been helpful. We have many videos of our rough collie on YouTube, and there are lots of other videos on YouTube about rough collies that you should watch for a better understanding. Any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask.